As a recap, Buffer Solutions use equal molar solutions of a weak acid and its conjugate base. As a lab example, we use 0.1 molar of acetic acid in roughly the same molar quantity of the acetate ion. If hydroxide is added to the solution which neutralizes your acid, the equilibrium shifts in the forward direction to make more hydronium ions, so pH remains relatively unchanged. If extra hydronium is added, equilibrium shifts in the reverse direction, so more of the acetic acid molecule is made up to reduce the amount of hydronium ions. So pH is relatively unchanged again. But remember, this can only occur if there's enough acetate ions to form acetic acid. If there's none of these, this can't form. Which is why it's important that buffers contain roughly equal amounts of the weak acid and its conjugate base, or vice versa. There are some natural buffers in nature, like the ones in your blood. Blood pH needs to be between 7.35 and 7.45. Outside this range, you're pretty much stuffed. The system consists of a carbonic acid and its conjugate base, hydrogen carbonate. If there's an increase in hydronium ions, buffer shifts left to counteract the change, so remains stable. If blood becomes slightly basic, the buffer shifts to the right to produce more hydronium. Changes in blood pH are therefore negligible due to the shifts in the equilibrium. Let's look at the biochemistry behind it. The blood buffer system is linked to the hemoglobin oxyhemoglobin equilibrium that's used to maintain blood pH. Hemoglobin, the protein responsible for binding oxygen, is a bluish slash red color and reacts with oxygen in the blood in an equilibrium reaction producing oxyhemoglobin and hydronium ions. As you inhale, more oxygen is added to this reaction, favoring the forward direction according to Lachat's principle. This results in an increase in hydronium ion concentration, so blood becomes acidic. The hydrogen carbonate buffer kicks in and reduces the added hydronium ion effectively maintaining a stable pH. As oxygen enters the cells from the blood, this drives the equilibrium in the left direction, reducing the concentration of hydronium ions. At the same time, carbon dioxide diffuses from the cells because of respiration and into the blood. This carbon dioxide reacts with the water and produces carbonic acid. And this carbonic acid increases the hydronium ion concentration, as in acidity in the blood increases. And that's all because you decided to breathe in. What happens when you exhale? Carbon dioxide leaves the blood, therefore its concentration reduces and the equilibrium favours the forward direction according to Le Chatelier's principle. Less dissolved carbon dioxide in the blood forces the formation of carbonic acid to favour the reverse direction, that is, less carbonic acid is made. Less carbonic acid means the reverse reaction is favoured, therefore hydronium ion concentration is reduced, so pH rises. Simples.